8,000 users, 500 projects, and 300 spaces migrated to cloud. Managing $1 billion worth of work every year. And six months from mobilization to cutover. Hi, I'm Will Davis, Principal Consultant with Adaptivist. And I'm Jason Afgarinos, Head of the Technology Management Office at the world's biggest building society nationwide. And I'm Katerina Notabartolo, and I'm accountable for all of the tooling applications that sit within the Technology Management Office. In late 2020, nationwide we're using Jira and Confluence on data center deployment and have been for several years. Additionally, they'd had several cl uh, cloud instances that had grown organically within the organization. The applications were very successful and had widespread adoption within the organization within a very short space of time but there were limitations to the on-premise approach that had uh, appeared. So we come to our first pillar of our successful migration, and this is the case for migration. So what are the strategic benefits for Nationwide for moving into the cloud? So for us, that's around moving to a cloud-first world, which is in line with the technology strategy that Nationwide outlines, and also in line with Atlassian's cloud-first policy. It's also about enabling third-party collaboration, and that's through enabling them to use their own third-party devices, but it's through a secure access, but it's also around moving to a single instance across the organization that allows us for better data management for decision-making. It also reduces the need for headcount growth within our tooling support team as usage increases, and it's a single point of administration for the support team. Um, this includes the total cost of ownership benefit across the organization for us. So really about that bottom line as well. So that's the case for migration for our first pillar of success. Our second pillar is choosing the right partner. Now we'd already been working with Adaptivist uh, because they were the people who were providing us with our uh, data center instances as a managed service. So we knew that they were really good. Um, we also knew from uh, that they had been involved in several large and complex cloud migrations uh, for other clients. So they were the obvious choice. Um, they could bring us insight and learning from other migrations and, and give us a, a template to work from that we knew would, would serve our needs well. And uh, it, it was a, a two-way process as well. We learned a lot from the way Nationwide approached the migration and we, uh, We've, we've incorporated our, our learnings back into the, the way we approach migrations as well. So once we've pulled together the case for migration and we've selected the right partner to work with, we're now looking at mobilizing the activities. Um, so let's look at how we mobilize them, uh, a great team to work together. So our third pillar is about empowering our users. So we have this concept of a champions network. The Champions Network is made up of people that are already utilizing the tool sets themselves. So people that are already end users of Jira and Confluence within the organization across the different instances that we had. They're already utilizing the tools well, they're already advocates, and they're already following best practices. So we brought them into the fold, making sure that the delivery was done with them, not to them. Um, making sure that they had first access to any um, environments so that they could test things so they could see the new screens so that they could really become advocates and build up their knowledge of it and help us deliver it to the wider organization. It meant they weren't afraid of the change that was coming because they were already part of it and it enabled them to embrace the new ways of working so that we could then have an enduring relationship with them. The fourth pillar for successful migration is planning and communication. This is absolutely vital in a complex process like cloud migration. It was key to build strong, strong collaboration between Nationwide, Atlassian and Adaptivist to achieve the migration. We did this in a number of ways. The key ones were the use of an integrated playbook and other documents for good collaborative planning and timing to make sure we were all on the same page. We also supported this with regular meetings, uh, such as standard agile daily stand-ups, uh, uh, week weekly planning meetings, and uh, fortnightly stakeholder meetings. We also 
made use of Jira and Confluence as our primary tools for collaboration and managing the work uh, to, to ensure there was visibility of everything that was going on in the process. So planning and communication are really important, but as everybody knows, and as a very famous person once said, Mike Tyson, everyone has a plan until they get smashed in the face. So our fifth pillar is about being agile. Um, one of the things you need to be really uh, careful of with uh, any sort of complex project like a cloud migration is not being afraid to pivot if you need to. We faced some pretty big roadblocks in our project, including one towards the end that could have really put us off track. But due to the fact that we were able to very swiftly change direction and work closely with both uh, Adaptivist and Atlassian, and also with the app provider, SmartBear, where the problem arose, we were able to build an alternative solution to some of the functionality in the cloud product that didn't work for us in a double quick time. In fact, around about three weeks. That was, a, was all about having the right attitude uh, and looking for the solution and working together and keeping our eyes on the prize. So talking about keeping our eyes on the prize, our sixth pillar of success is about ensuring that we are set up as a product stream, not a project activity. So in the technology management office, we have our concept of product teams. And for us, that means that we're not moving away from it once the delivery is there. We are there to support it. We are there to maintain, to, to run it and continuously improve the product itself. So everyone that was involved in the delivery had that sense of partnership. We were all invested in making it success. We ran support in parallel and we managed a backlog of future demand, ensuring that we were capturing the information that we were being provided by our end users, the information from our suppliers and from our collaborators in general about where we wanted to take this next. So we really had that duty of care for what we were delivering and that made it a full success for us. So you've seen our six pillars for successful migration to the cloud. And by following these six pillars, we were able to deliver a migration for Jira and Confluence into Atlassian Cloud. We were able to do so not only uh, achieving our original business case, but also with minimal disruption to the users, leading to a highly successful uh, migration experience. Actually, Will, I've just thought of another pillar. Maintain the momentum. Something that's been really important to us is to keep the momentum going from our migration into our everyday work, really sort of building a platform and using that to launch more use cases into our, uh, into our organization, um, including starting to use JIRA and Confluence to drive some of our uh, regulatory processes, which as a financial services industry are really important. So there you go. That's seven successful pillars of cloud migration. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.